Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I'm working on a Stromberg two-barrel WW carburetor. Uh, this is one of the older models because it has the uh, choke uh, um, thermostat uh, heat heat duct going in the center of the thermostat. It tells me it's an old. I don't know what it fits right offhand. Probably a 50s uh, series. Um, anyhow, we're going to talk about the accelerator pump. Uh, this is your, one of the a typical cell accelerator pumps. Some have flat stems, uh, like this one here, has a flat stem on it, and uh, pump goes in there like a so. Uh, there's a check ball that goes into the bottom. This is a bigger check ball in this particular carburetor, and it just sets down in the bottom, just like that. It just kind of rolls down. Uh, it, it's hard to see. I can't get a light in there. But if you look down yours, you'll see a little hole down there. So that's the inlet. And so the fuel using uh, uh, gravity goes from the float bowl into the well and pushes up on that check ball and allows the well to fill up with fuel. Okay. So, um, and then uh, the, uh, let's see, I got one here that's together. When it's on the car, like this, the, uh, the, the, the spring is holding the, the throttle closed and the accelerator pump is, is pulled to the top and the spr this spring is compressed. And when you throttle up, that compressed spring pushes down on the accelerator pump and pushes fuel out through the main discharge, which is located right here and then out uh, these two little holes here. You should get a, a fairly good squirt when you uh, pump the gas on this on both sides. These are pretty small holes so be sure they're uh, nice and clear and clean. And uh, the small check ball goes in here and what you do is uh, when you like say this is full of fuel when it presses down it pushes fuel up through the main, main uh, discharge pushes that check ball up and uh, allows fuel to go through. What the check ball is for is that uh, if it wasn't there, then just the gravity, excuse me, the vacuum from the carburetor bore would keep pulling fuel through it. So if you see fuel look leaking through here when you're not accelerating, when just sitting there idling, then you probably have a, a check ball that's not seated. To seat a check ball, uh, Put it in there and uh, just tap it lightly a couple times just to seat it, not very hard. And that's all you need to do. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to put a little, I use mineral spirits here. And get the lid open on it. There we go. Okay, so we'll put a little in the float ball. See, as soon as I pulled up on it, it, it started filling up in here. Um, so that's what it takes. You first put on the car, you may have to pump it a couple times to get it to fill up. So let me put a little bit of right in the well. Okay. All right, so I got some in the well. So then what happens here is, uh, and I don't have anything uh, on there right now, so when I push down on it, you see the fuel coming out through the main discharge hole right here. Okay. And that's what it's supposed to do. Now, hold it down lightly with something and do the same thing. You see this one is leaking. Or did I have the check ball in there? No, I don't. Okay. Excuse me. All right. There's the check ball now. Let's try it again. Ah, there we go. Now it's not leaking. And you feel a little bit of pressure. You don't have to push very hard. I mean, you push hard enough, it's going to come through. Just a little bit. You just want to feel a little pressure. And uh, if that's the case, then you're okay, good to go there. So, <laughs> uh, put the check ball in like, uh, like you're supposed to. All right, so let's put this back on here. Just so you see what it looks like. On a carburetor that's been cleaned.
See? See how the fuel comes out there? That's a good squirt. All right, that's what you're looking for on these. So that's testing it on the bench. If it's not, if it works on the bench, it should work on the car. If it's not working on the car, then you got a problem with uh, your linkage or something. Again, if you know how it works, you should be able to figure out what's wrong with it. When it, when the throttle is closed, when it's just sitting there, it's going to be like this. It's going to, and this accelerator pump's going to be pulled up. And it doesn't have to move very far. So when you press on the gas, the spring is pushing down on that pump. Now, if you're missing the spring, or you've got the wrong spring, uh, then that, that could be a problem. Now, this is just one. Uh, I'll take a picture of that other one and post it if I haven't already. Uh, the, the flat type is a little bit different. Uh, they'll have a spring like this with a little notch on it to put a retainer to hold it. But the same principle, as you can see, it pulls down in only about, oh, I'd say a half inch or so. It doesn't take very much for it for that to happen. All right? So the throttle is, is open. And it's kind of backwards uh, than most carburetors. Some carburetors actually push down on the pump. And in this case, it don't. All right, so this, this particular one has, a, well, most of them on WW will have a leather cup on it. And when you get the new one, just put like two drops of oil on it, no more than that. Uh, it may take a while for it to expand after you got gas in there. It may not seal right away. Test it on the bench. Um, and uh, it doesn't have to feed, feed super, uh, fit, excuse me, fit super tight in there. Uh, there you go, see? All right. So that's basically how the accelerator pump works. And this here is a, a left-handed thread, by the way. So you got to turn it clockwise to take it off. And this is how it's hooked up. And your instruction sheet should have which holes to put it in. See, this one's in the inner and the center. Uh, this particular one uh, does not have different holes. It does have a slotted type of uh, deal for... Uh, uh, for free play. But there you go. I hope this helps. Thank you.